quite simply, the greatest hits will always be in the set. And I say that with absolutely no shame whatsoever. We shift our set around depending on which territory we're in. For example, um, we would play Love and Hate Collide on a British tour, but we wouldn't play it on an American tour. Because it wasn't the big hit in America that it was in England. In, in, uh, in England, Animal is always going to be a, a more recognised song than it is in the States. It's recognised in the States, it's just bigger in England. Sugar is bigger in the States than it is in England. As big as it may be in England, it's just bigger over there, certain songs are. Um, so we have to have 25, 30 songs rehearsed so that we can interchange as we, as we see fit. Put some sugar on we've been finishing with, and uh, that's always fun, because you know, every girl thinks she's a stripper. Last time we went to Japan, you know, you can play like rare B-sides and they actually get it, they actually really relate to it, and then you get to the States or England or something, and they go, uh, what was this then? And it's like, and it kills it, you think, oh my God. Um, we've never been much of a band for changing the set around every night. We've tried it before. And we've always found that when you find a great set, to change it for the sake of it weakens it. And all you're doing is just massaging your own boredom ego, if you like. Um, at the same time, if you don't change it around, the boredom starts to set in. But we are here for the audience, not for our own amusement. To a point, we have to say, this is what we do, and if you don't like it, you don't have to come. But if, if we are going to invite people in, we have to at least acknowledge the fact that they are here because they like what we've done, so they want to hear some of it. It's, it's a fine line that you walk between the new and the old. Um, I'm not suggesting that you ever get it right. I, I don't think any band that's been around as long as us pleases every single person. If you go and see Maiden, Aerosmith, us, U2, R.E.M., Bon Jovi, you name them, somebody's going to walk out going, I wish they'd played blah, blah, blah. But the, you can't play everything, you know, so you do have to make the executive decision on, on behalf of the, for, for the greater good of the entire situation that certain things just aren't going to get played tonight. Song-wise, during the course of a tour, be it a three-month tour or a 13-month tour, you might start off being excited about one particular song and then, you know, get over it. I recently heard Paul McCartney saying the reason he does all his hits is because when he went to see the Rolling Stones, he was just glad that they played Jumping Jack Flash and Brown Sugar as was I when I saw them. I don't really want to see them play the obscure stuff. That's, some fans do, and they're right, they are, unfortunately, the minority. Our vocals have gotten really, really tight, and we really, you get to know each other's singing and, and how we phrase and how we fall off words together, and, and it's, you know, some nights it actually gives you goosebumps. 